Now this is literally how close you are to the MRT. And you have likely heard of the saying that property is all about location, location, location. So today we're going to check out a beautiful unit here at Baywater in District 16. Hi, this is Andrew Ho and today 18 property is here at Bedok Reservoir Road. And if you're an east side lover looking for a spacious two-bedder, don't step to the MRT, then I think you're in for a treat. Let's go! If you have been on the hunt for a two-bedder in the new launches market today, you'll realize that the typical size is at about five to six hundred square feet, comes with a little open concept kitchen, no storeroom or yard area. Now, if you're after a fully decked two-bedder in a mature estate, you're gonna like this one because the entire size of this unit is at 1044 square feet, comes along with two spacious bedrooms, two baths, a WC with an enclosed kitchen, Yard space, home shelter. With new launch developments scaling down their overall size these days, you can't really find this kind of layout or size anymore. So Baywater is situated along the belt of private condos at Bedok Reservoir. If we take a look at the neighbouring projects within the cluster, Waterfront Key that is TOP in 2012, the size of a two-bedroom is at 882 square feet, Waterfront Waves at 969 square feet, Waterfront Go 872, and finally Waterfront Owl which is at 904 square feet only. If we take a look at brand new developments in the market today, let's say in the Burdock area, the newest will be Grandeur Park residences with various two bedroom layouts with size ranging from 560 to 624 square feet. That's the great size difference for a two bedroom apartment. So with this much of a space for a two-bedder, I think it's really hard to come by these days. Great livable space. So we are at the corner of Bedok Reservoir Road and Bedok North Avenue. This development checks all the boxes in terms of accessibility to transportation as you are literally right next to the Bedok Reservoir MRT, which is the downtown line that will connect you directly to the Chinatown, Suntec and the Bugis area. For drivers, a few minutes drive will lead you to the PIE, which connects you to the Bugis area as well, or towards the east, that will lead you to Jewel at Changi Airport. The Bali flyover is within a short drive as well if you are heading towards the Serangoon area. So this development was TOP in 2006, done up by Wohub. Total of 232 units. It's made out of four towers comprising two, three, and four bedroom configurations. And if we head off to the balcony, the orientation of the house is facing towards the north, which is great as you don't get any form of afternoon sun. A unique quarter circular shaped balcony, which is pretty nice. And because we are situated at level 2, you get a nice direct greenery view right from your living. Pretty sizable balcony that can fit an outdoor table with two chairs. The amount of space that you get at the balcony is just about right, not overly huge. And if you are looking for a unit with more internal usable space, then this unit is going to be perfect. There is a planter provision as well. If you love gardening, I think you're going to enjoy this. Now, if you're after a two-bedroom layout in this development, there are only four stacks with a two-bedroom configuration. Firstly, stack 4, which faces close to the opposite neighbouring unit. You have got stack 13 and 14 that faces the PIE. We think the most premium stack for a two-bedder is stack 16. Firstly, because you get a pool facing, that is the spa pool right there. Secondly, this is the quieter zone of the development as compared to the main swimming pool area. And finally, you don't have any direct neighbouring blocks opposite and that means you get lots of privacy and daylight coming into your home. So if you're after a premium facing unit like this, out of 232 units here at Baywater, only 60 units of two bedders are like this. In other words, that's only 6% of the entire development. Entrance to the house, I like the layout of this unit. Size of the walkway area is just about right. Lots of wall space over here for you to fit in your shoe cabinets. Distribution board is right here. Doubles out as a storage space below for your shoes. Nice rectangular longish layout for your living and dining space. Flooring is fully done up with granite finishing that's well maintained in great condition. Living space is fantastic. Currently, it's fitted in with a three-seater along with an Ottoman here. Alternatively, you can fit in a longish 
five-seater kind of L-shaped sofa if you want to fully utilize the space. Designated TV space will be over here. I like the regular shape of the living. A very good amount of wall space over here for you to build in your feature wall to enhance the overall look and feel of your home. Dining space right beside your living, parked nicely at this corner. Currently, it sits up to four. If you want to go for a wider dining table, you can go for a six or eight seater. That's definitely very possible with the amount of space that you have right here. Now, you have an additional zone over here before you enter the kitchen. Great spot to be used as a reading corner. Maybe read a newspaper sitting here in the morning. Enjoy a cup of coffee before you go to work. Now, for some owners at Baywater, they prefer to feed their dining table right here, just outside of the kitchen. So it makes it convenient after whipping out your lunch, your dinner, to serve the food right onto the table on this zone here. And then make full use of this huge wall space right here to build in additional cabinetry for additional storage for your shoes, books, and other miscellaneous stuff. And before we check out the kitchen, one interesting fact to share is that this estate is a hotspot for a lot of parents as we get a lot of inquiries all the time for properties in this region from clients who are buying with the primary purpose to stay within one kilometers to the Red Swastika School and Yunnan Primary. And within two kilometers, you have got St. Hilda's Primary. For properties that are within close proximity to renowned schools, they are constantly in demand regardless of the market situation. So this helps you in your exit plan when you decide to sell this unit off in the future because it is going to pretty much continue to stay in demand. In other words, this probably provides you a good form of capital preservation and even potentially capital appreciation by the time you are ready to sell this unit off in the future. Not forgetting other great primary schools in the vicinity including Fengshan Primary, St. Anthony's Canosian and Opera Estate Primary. Temasek Poly is within the vicinity as well. Now in terms of locality, because we are in a matured estate, that means you are in close proximity to lots of amenities. Baywater is located at a wonderful location as you are near two major hubs and that is Bedok and Tampanese. Starting with shopping malls, you will find Bedok Mall, Bedok Point and Jitsun Mall. There's a huge Shengshong supermarket right there as well which operates for 24 hours. Over at Tampanese, you get Century Square, Tampanese Mall and Tampanese One. Tampanese Hub is there as well with a stadium with lots of sports facilities. Of course, you get a sports center in Bedok as well and that is the Park Beat at Bedok. If you're heading there by public transport, Bus 28 will lead you there just three stops away. And of course, if you're a foodie, you're gonna enjoy patronizing the Bedok 85 Hawker Center, where there's a huge variety of delicious local delicacies. The most well known Ba Chow Mi or Minced Meat Noodles is right there. And if you're looking towards a more nature exploration kind of outing with your kids, the Bedok Town Park is within walking distance from home, as well as the Bedok Reservoir Park, which are all within the same precinct. Heading to the East Coast Park that is only a 10 minutes drive away. You get a fully enclosed kitchen, sliding door right here, which is not commonly found in newer developments today because for the newer configurations, two bader, the kitchen is usually built into an open concept kind of fashion. So here at this unit, wherever you're going to do any form of heavy cooking, I think you really appreciate this. We love the fact that the kitchen comes along with a glass provision, which gives us a better feel of spaciousness within the house. Also, that allows natural daylight to penetrate into this area, giving you a well-lit kitchen. If you are preparing for dinner, you can watch over your kids in the living room from here. Very sizable L-shaped kitchen. You get full privacy as well, no neighboring units facing you. Now, of course, you get your hood and hob, ample storage space with the built in kitchen cabinetry, space for your fridge. Comes with solid granite countertop, which is well known to be durable. Now, yard space, a very nice dedicated separate zone for your laundry. Have in your washing machine right here. If you're gonna feed a dryer, go for the front loading type of washer and dryer and simply stack them up. Comes with a WC, great whenever you need to do manual hand wash for some of your laundry. Home shelter nicely tucked right in here at this corner for your storage. So the yard space can be enclosed as well. So if you are doing your heavy cooking, just open up the windows for ventilation. Close the doors to the living, close the doors to the yard area. You don't have to worry about the oil and smoke that would travel to your laundry. Fantastic layout. Now, I think it's important to be well connected to the prices they are trending right now if you are currently shopping around for a unit at District 16. 
So let's pull up the map. So along the belt of private condos at Bedok Reservoir, if we take a look at the same condos within the cluster that we have pulled out earlier in the video, towards the west, we've got the waterfront collections comprising firstly waterfront waves, TOP in 2011, two bedders there have transacted at about $1,000 to $1,100 per square foot. Waterfront Go, units have changed hands at prices up to $1,300 per square foot. Over at Waterfront Ao, prices are averaging at about $1,200. Right here at Baywater, the asking price is only at $1.15 million, which translates to about $1,000 per square foot only. With that, you get a larger space for your home as well at 1044 square feet. In addition, when compared to the rest, you are within the shortest walk to the MRT, literally just a few steps away. Now that also means that if your plans change at a later stage and you decide to rent this unit out in the future, you will have an easier time to look for a tenant in view of the close proximity to the MRT. So if you are looking for space, great transportation, accessibility, something that's not going to stretch your pocket, value for money, then this unit might just be the one that you are looking for. So I hope that gives you a clearer idea and price comparison if you are currently looking for a unit here at Bedok Reservoir. Meanwhile, I think it's about time we check out the bedrooms. Let's go! There is a nice additional storage room space over here. We think it's built at a great position in the house along the walkway. Great to store things that you will need access to frequently on a day-to-day -day basis. Probably things like your tennis racket, vacuum cleaner and other stuff. For things that you won't frequently need access to, you can just leave them in the bomb shelter in the yard area. Common room is fully flush with great quality parquet finishing. Comes with built-in wardrobe all the way up to the ceiling, which means you get lots of storage space. So we are currently featuring this room as a study and a guest room kind of concept. Very good and conducive environment here because it's pretty quiet here on this stack. If you want to complete this room into a guest room, just change this into a sofa bed. Put out your TV right here. I think it's gonna be perfect. Alternatively, you can use this room as a full-fledged bedroom, being a queen or a single bed along with a study table. Definitely very possible. So here's a 3D drawing that we're prepared to let you have a better idea to visualize this possibility. Common bath is conveniently next to the room with shower screens installed, great ventilation windows to air out when required. You get your standing shower. Space right beneath the sink, which is great to install a cabinet over here if you want to store more toiletries. So at Baywater, you get full-fledged condo facilities. There is a 24-hour security, basement car park for drivers, beautiful infinity swimming pool along with the kids pool for the family, spa pool and a waterfall lounge pool. Of course you have your function room along with two barbecue pits. And since there are only 232 units in this development, in terms of the number of household, this is towards a lower density kind of project and that means that you'll probably have an easier time to book a usage for the common facilities in view of lower competition. Adding on, you get a full-fledged gym, outdoor fitness corner, a tennis court, badminton lawn and even a basketball court. Very nice, not commonly found in condominiums. And if you love jogging but don't wish to travel out of home, there is a jogging track that surrounds Baywater which makes it really convenient. For golf lovers, you can visit the golf driving range. And finally, let's head on to the master room. We love the fact that you get a nice long walkway that leads you to your bedroom with four panels of wardrobe space built all the way to the ceiling. Definitely sufficient to fill your bed sheets, clothes, and other linens. Door position of the ensuite has been cleverly designed to face your wardrobe instead of your bed. So before you head off for a shower, conveniently access your clothes from the wardrobe and enter the bathroom straight away. For the ensuite, something you don't see very common these days, especially in a two bedroom layout, is that it comes along with a long bath, perfect to soak right in here after a long day of work. It is separated from your shower area, which is awesome, as compared to some condos where the shower zone is on the bathtub itself, and that means you will be standing in the bathtub for your shower. So that's a very nice layout, and I don't think you ever find bathtub provisions in new launches for a two bather these days as well. A very rare find. So you get full parquet flooring for your master, one of the best kinds of floorings that you can get. We have fitted in a queen with two side tables, you can definitely go for a king. Generous in terms of the amount of space that you will get for the master, lots of walking space, you can even fit in a baby cot right here or over here. Now if you want to warm up your TV, this would be the wall space to mount it up on. 
without a beautiful feature wall and you have sufficient space over here for your TV console as well. Similar to the living, you'll get a direct view of the greenery as well as a spa pool. So it's pretty quiet right here and I think the facing of this unit is really beautiful. So for the unit, the asking price is only at 1.15 million. So for affordability wise, let's just say that if you are to secure the unit at this price and if you are to take a loan tenure of 30 years at an interest rate of 1.2%, that will come out to an installment of $2,800 per month. So if you're a working couple, the monthly CPF ordinary account contribution that's credited to your account is capped at $1,380 individually. With both of you combined, that will amount to $2,700 from your CPF monthly. That can be used to pay off your monthly installment. And of course, not forgetting the maintenance fee, which is at $318 per month. We think that it's pretty reasonable compared to most age condos today which may usually hit the four to $500 mark years after. And so what happens if let's say you plan to rent this unit out in the future? The two bathers at Baywater have transacted in the range of 2007 to 3003 in terms of the rental that you can get. If you take an average from the recently rented units at 3000 and add it up to a 12 months basis to calculate the rental yield based on the purchase price, that would then give you a gross rental yield of about 3.13%. With that said, if you are truly using your monthly CPF OA contributions of 2007 to service the mortgage payment, that means the rental of $3,000 that you collect after netting off the maintenance fee of $300 you'll be generating a good positive cash flow of about $2,600 per month. At the same time, one of the important things to note when considering to buy a property for rental or for investment purposes is the ease of rentability because technically every month that a property is not rented out, opportunity cost is lost. With Baywater within a few steps to the Bedok Reservoir MRT, the demand for rental space is high. So I think if you are looking for a property in the Bedok Reservoir area, Baywater is the one that you want to aim for. So if you're after a two-bedder configuration with a spacious layout that's fully decked with an enclosed kitchen, with a proper yard space for laundry, doorstep to the MRT, fantastic transportation accessibility, then this unit might just be the one for you. More property details and our contacts, they are in the link right below. So do reach out to us. Hit on the like and subscribe button. So once again, this is Andrew Ho, 18 Property. We get your house featured. And for you. More property, property, property. <laughs> then <laughs> currently it's fitted in with a... Oh, wow! <laughs>